uh, you know, I'll run when I have to. We have our three running backs uh, healthy this year, so I'm sure they'll carry the load most of the time, and, uh, you know, I'll just throw the ball around. How does Malcolm look different um, after moving to tackle? It seemed like he played mostly guard in spring and even started out fall there. He's good. He's good. Uh, he has a, a lot of experience in both positions, but I like him at left tackle, uh, and the coaches do too. So, uh, you know, he, 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 he feel, I think he feels comfortable there. Did it seem like there was anything he had to learn specifically about playing left tackle in this offense versus when he was at Miami? Nah, you know, we have Coach Clem, uh, probably the greatest O-line coach in the country. So, uh, you know, there's certain technicalities that you have to learn, but, uh, you know, he picked them up, and, and he's doing really good. Have you noticed anything out of Adarius Pickett at running back since he switched? Uh, you know, uh, he's, he's, he's been coming along. Obviously, you know, like all the freshmen, they're all coming along and, and, and getting used to it still. You know, they still have a lot to learn. But um, all of them, you know, not just him, uh, Van Dyke, uh, and everybody is coming along pretty well. I feel natural. I've been playing running back all my life, so it's nothing new to me. How many schools are trying to recruit you as a running back? Um, you know, my senior year, um, it was a, a few schools. I, I know the Virginia coincidence, we played in my first game. They actually offered me as a running back, so. What was your reaction when they first told you that? Um, just anything to help the team out. I was, uh, you know, excited to, they said I could possibly get on the field this year by playing running back, so I was happy about that. Over at college, the biggest prick on the field. <laughs> Did you hear that comment? What do you think of it? Uh, I don't think I'm the biggest one. I mean, <laughs> sometimes, I mean, sometimes, like, yeah, sometimes I can be, but, you know, it, it happens. You know, I'm just competitive. I don't, like, take it off the field or anything. I just feel like when we're on the field, you know, we got to compete and kind of go at each other. I mean, the offense goes at us just as hard, and I just kind of feel like, you know, once you get past the lineman, you can finally get to the running backs. You know, you might as well make it worth your while and hit them, you know what I mean? So that's how I look at it. You're not the biggest dude. Uh, either Alex Redman or, yeah, probably Alex. <laughs> Alex Redman for sure. Yeah, it's not even close second. <laughs> That's cool. So the question on everyone's mind, uh, how's the haircut? You know, it's going good. Like, I didn't ever think it was going to be this long. Like, it's the longest I've ever grown it out, and I like it. I think it's really grown on me. So. What's the plan for it going forward? Um, I'm going to just keep you know, like trimming the sides. I don't know if I want to like really lop off the top, but we'll see what happens. Was there something that inspired you to, to make this change <laughs> in the first place? Oh, like one day like my ears were getting hot and I was like just letting my <laughs> hair grow, all of it. And like my ears were getting real hot and it was like tough to sleep. So I was just like, oh, I can't take this anymore. So I like shaved the sides of my head and I was just like, oh, it's a mullet now. It looks pretty cool. So I just kind of kept it. Yeah.